teaching kindergarten is like being an ambassador to beings from another planet and teaching them how to assimilate to our culture. No, we do not lick water fountains. Perhaps that is acceptable on your planet, but here on earth we prefer to drink from water fountains. Physics might be a little different on your planet, but here when you throw things they typically fall and break. Grabbing people and shaking them violently is not considered a proper greeting on this planet. This is real. Me. I need some serotonin. Husband. Stands up. Husband. Sits back down. Husband. I didn't remember what serotonin was until after I stood up, so I was dead ass about to go get you some. He's a little confused, but he's got the spirit. Me. On my laptop. Windows. Having a nervous meltdown. Are you gonna update your computer? When are you gonna update? Today at 7pm. Tomorrow at 5.50am. Can you do it now? Make a decision immediately, or god so help me. Windows is the Duolingo owl in disguise. I think my favorite jokes are the ones that weren't even all that funny until I was an adult, and now they're fking hilarious. I'm not even talking about the dirty jokes. I'm talking about in Finding Nemo, where the sharks are having fking AA for fish eating. Remember that sh- I'm a nice shark, not a mindless eating machine. If I'm to change this image, I must first change myself. Whoever thought of that, that was brilliant. Or what about that time in Shrek 2, where Shrek and Donkey infiltrate the castle, pretending to be union workers. Little me didn't give a sh about unions, but big me is remembering Shrek going, it's okay buddy, we're from the union, and the desk worker secretively, we don't even have dental, and Shrek just shakes his head, and looks at Donkey, like he can't believe this sh, and goes, they don't even have dental, what the f, I'm dying of laughter, who comes up with this sh, Answer me this, atheists. If God never existed, then whose heavenly staircase did I march up? Whose heavenly host did I best in battle? And whose severed head do I keep stowed in my basement? Bruh, that was your landlord. Formal essays are never happy. Man legally changes name to Big PP, so that these ends will keep my name out they mouth. He taken a selfie with a security cam. The energy surrounding this man is mythically powerful. Truly he is one we must fear. Doctor. $140,000 a year. Fairy artist on Patreon. $160,000 a year. I think you're lowballing the furry art amount to be honest. I'm sorry for the inaccuracies, Dr. Yiff. No matter how I respond to this, I don't look good. Well played. I walked right into that. Well, furry artists are typically more competent and courteous than your average doctor, so I can see that. Did you just legitimately tell me that a person who draws wolfess is more competent than a dude who spent 8 plus years in a university to give you your lung transplant? Doctors are bullsh, and furry artists perform an infinitely more valuable service to society compared to them. You will die in 7 days. It took doctors like 10 years to diagnose what was wrong with me, some insisting I was faking for attention, while a furry artist I knew just went, that sounds like cons after hearing me complain once, and ended up being right. Also I can't go to a doctor and ask them to draw Rouge the bat wider than she is tall with tits to match, now can I? You could, if you weren't a f***ing coward. This post was like 50 consecutive punches to the face, what the f went on here? Clay was elected to three terms in the Kentucky House of Representatives, but he lost support among Kentucky voters as he promoted abolition. His anti-slavery activism earned him violent enemies. During a political debate in 1843, he survived an assassination attempt by Sam Brown, a hired gun. The scabbard of Clay's bowie knife was tipped with silver, and in jerking the bowie knife out in retaliation, pulled this scabbard up so that it was just over his heart. Sam Brown's bullet struck the scabbard and embedded itself in the silver. Despite being shot in the chest, Clay drew his bowie knife, tackled Brown, cut out his eyes, and finally threw him over an embankment. Holy sh, dude. 
God imagine being in that crowd, seeing a guy try and assassinate this debater, who deflects a bullet, and then leaps like a panther into the dude, and takes out his eyes, before throwing him off a cliff. I really hope the Metal Gear movie gets bought by Netflix, purely cause the Psycho Mantis boss could replicate the memory card reading by having it read the user's Netflix history. Snake, you like to watch Queer Eye, don't you? Attempts to log into bank account. To continue, answer security question. Where and how will you die? Types in, alone in a ditch, wearing a clown costume. I view my account balance of $4.47. She's picking him up from kitten school, and he's telling her about his day. Really excited to go up the mountain with my dad, to sacrifice a lamb. Looks like he forgot to bring the sacrifice, but I'm just happy to take a walk with him. Hey OP, any updates? Hey OP. Every day men leave their homes with no bag, no water bottle, no lip balm, no hand sanitizer, no extra layer in case they get cold, just keys and a wallet shoved into their pocket, chaotic and reckless. Me, imagine being this weak, if I get thirsty I drink from puddle, if chap lips I kiss my bro, etc. Many solutions to be found in nature. The character Peter Musa Bridge's portrayal differs, based on each region's version of the film. While Musa Bridge remains in the American and Canadian versions, he is replaced by a Jaguar in the Brazilian version, a Tanuki in the Japanese version, and a Koala in the Australian and New Zealand versions. Well, that's just great, now I'm gonna have to hunt down every single version of this movie if I wanna see all the furries. Region locked firstness. One time I used my retail voice on a cow walker, and she was like, don't use your customer voice on me, I know you're dead inside, like the rest of us, it's just frightening and weird. The other day I asked for a table for two in my customer voice, and the waitress squinted at me, and I cleared my throat, and said, sorry, still in service mode, and she dropped hers, and we swapped stories about our day, and my boyfriend was like, you two just became two entirely different people, in like 0.5 seconds. Just saw someone ask whether Batman or Spider-Man would win in a fight, as if Batman would see a brightly colored sassy acrobat and not immediately adopt him. Now, in fairness, Peter Parker has a history of seeing someone else in a costume and immediately throwing hands, only to realize three pages later that there was literally no reason to do that, but it's not like misplaced aggression is disqualifying when it comes to suddenly acquiring a bat dad. Batman is a gateway drug. Bruce, upon realizing that he's getting punched repeatedly by a flippy and talkative spider child with zero brain cells and a strong moral compass, immediately begins filling out mental adoption papers. Peter, catching the image of an adult dressed vaguely like an animal, and standing in the shadows out of the corner of his eye, immediately backflips into a roundhouse kick, while shouting batter up. Batman, internally, unfortunately, I love it. Bruce. This one has super strength, and can literally dodge bullets. Clark. Bruce, put him back where he came from. Peter. Please, give me a dollar. I'm very poor. Rock legend and astrophysicist is inarguably the most powerful title one can have, the big PP energy is through the f***ing roof. Brian May. Rock legend, and astrophysicist. When the wizard multiclasses is a bard. Oh yeah. Well, Alan Moore, writer, wizard, mall Santa, Rasputin impersonator. We are all rowdy theater kids in God's Dennis, when you really think about it. Hi, what the F does this mean? It's something experienced not explained. They're blue, but mashed, they're purple. And when skinned, we see the insides are green. What the ever living F, blueberries. Okay, I keep seeing this, and I felt the need to point out that humans are in fact any shade of brown slash tan on the outside, if you mash them, they are red, and if you skin them, they are pink. No, I will not be including photos. Okay, Hannibal.